Hello darlings and welcome back to my channel. I'm Rhonda, the Perfume Maven, and on this channel we discover fragrance. So if you're interested to know the fragrances that I wore for this previous week, just stay tuned. <laughs> Here we are back again with another episode of Scent Talk, which we're on season two, episode eight, and we're moving right along with these weekly fragrances. This week, I do have a couple of more samples that we're going to be going over, and this first one is going to be from Gucci, and this is Gucci Bloom, and this one is Ambrosa di Fiori. Now, I'm not a fan of Gucci Bloom, okay? But this is a flanker, and this is the latest flanker release from the line of Gucci Bloom, so we're definitely going to go over this Ambrosia di Fiori. Fiori. And also, we're going to go over this one from Rihanna, and this one is Rebel Fleur Love Always. Now, I've had this sample for quite a while, but I wanted to finally go ahead and dibble and dabble to see how I feel about this Rebel Floor Love Always. Now to actually get into the full bottles that I wore for the week. This first one, you guys, I have not showcased this on my channel yet. I did haul it, I would say about four months ago, but it is Pink Couture from Viva La Juicy, which is actually from Juicy Couture. This was the latest release of flankers for the Viva La Juicy line. Now there are about 20, close to 20 flankers. And you guys, I have majority of them. And I'm also due to do an updated review or collection review on my Juicy Couture fragrances. But this one is Pink Couture. And here is the beautiful box. Like I said, I did haul this about four months ago and I just decided to finally go ahead and wear it. And this is a full size bottle. It's a 3.4 ounce, 100 ml. It is an eau de parfum so yes i just had to add this one to the collection this one is described as a fruity floral gourmand it's fruity it's sweet it's aquatic you also have a lot of soft florals which is water lily which gives it that little bit of an aquatic feel you also have jasmine which jasmine is so so pretty and really really light and delicate in this perfume it's also tropical and it has frangipani as well as quince so you do get that tropical tropical sweet really really pretty it's, it's really nice and you guys i went in with six sprays of this one on each wrist one in the front one in the back and then one at each elbow crook so just to see if i I would get wafts of it and it did actually last me about almost eight hours which I was kind of surprised with it being a Viva La Juicy perfume like this really smells really tropical and fruity but you can also pick up that little bit of gourmand quality which is coming from praline and that gives it that gourmand touch to it and of course there is vanilla in the base and also sandalwood and I'm so glad that the sandalwood was not prominent with this but this is actually really cute I really do like this one now the one before that one which is bodacious I'm gonna talking about that probably next week because I, I do plan to wear that one. So I just want to go ahead and give her a couple of sprays to see really, really how long she lasted. This is a cute, fun fragrance and something that I would probably wear to bed and also just something that I can just spritz on myself before I go to work. So this is an easy rich. And again, you guys, this one is from the Viva La Juicy line. This one is Pink Couture, 100 ml Eau de Parfum. Okay, so moving right along, I did go in with one from Dolce and this is Dolce Garden. Guys, this one has become probably my favorite now. Before I did like the original, I'm really, really getting into this Dolce Garden. It's sweet and it also is another fruity floral gourmand, but this one has vanilla and coconut, but it's really sweet. And also it has that nutty smell, which is coming from the almond. And it also has a little bit of sharpness to it, which is coming from the Neroli. So usually when a fragrance has Neroli, that's a note that I can really pick up as well. Like as soon as I spray it, it's Neroli because Neroli is a very, very sharp floral. I mean, it's very sharp. So that is definitely what you get with this, but you also get that vanilla and coconut. So it's really, really nice. And this one has definitely grown on me. Before, I would say when I first tried it, I really was not a fan. Then I tried it again. I was like, I like this. It was really pretty. And I did receive a compliment on this fragrance when I wore it to work. Now, when I actually spray it, I really, really like it. Coconut can sometimes be really tricky, but when the coconut is sweet and then it's mixed with a white floral, it kind of changes the composition 
transition from it being like a clean coconut to a really sweet coconut. But this one is a really sweet vanilla based coconut. So I really like this one. And this one is definitely very different from the others in the line. But she is easily becoming or she's easily climbing her way up to my actual favorite from the line. We'll just have to see because there is another one that I did talk about in Scent Talk not too long ago, which is Dolce Shine. I did try that one again. I'm not sure if I'm gonna pick up a full bottle, but I would definitely be adding that into another episode of Scent Talk because I have worn that one again. I've worn it again, okay? So my thoughts have slightly changed, so I definitely want to share that one. But back to this Dolce Garden. You guys, I have really been getting some sprays out of this one. I would say I'm probably about a fourth of the way down on this one. So I'm really, really enjoying this now. And I did go in with four sprays. One on each wrist, one in the front, and one in the back. And this literally lasts me my whole work shift. So this really sticks on the skin good. And that sweetness of the almond, that nutty sweetness, that stays as well. So again, this one is Dolce garden and this isn't on a parfum dolce garden okay so this next perfume that i actually wore as a full bottle is my issy miyaki low dissy pure nectar you guys this is my absolute favorite perfume from issy miyaki right now I do love the Issey Miyake Lodisi Absolute. I do like that one. But this one right now has to be my favorite. And as you can see, I'm getting down on this one. I'm about a fourth of the way down on this one as well. And I did pick this one up about towards the beginning of the of 2020 so that speaks volumes for me when it comes to a fragrance because i don't spray and wear the same ones all the time but this one you guys oh this is so pretty so this one is actual a floral fragrance it's a sweet floral it has rose it's a little aquatic and it also has like an animalic quality to it and it's really fresh and you do have a sweetness from honey it's beautiful it's alluring it's sweet and it's definitely long lasting and you do get that freshness from the pear. It's really more floral than anything. And this is so long lasting. I sprayed four sprays of this pure nectar, you guys, and it lasted me 12 hours just on my skin alone. So this is definitely a beast mode scent. But I did receive a compliment on this one as well. I had to go ahead and I had to double back and wear it again just to be reminded of, oh, this is so pretty. I'm not going to spray it because this is literally going to kick up a whole cloud of this scent. And I already have my scent for the day on. So I don't want to spray this one. But the other two, they weren't as long lasting and powerful as this one. So I sprayed those, but I'm not going to spray this one because I already know I don't need to go ahead and get it on anything because this literally sticks on whatever you spray it on. But it's so gorgeous. And again, this one is Isimiyaki Lodisi Pure Nectar. This is an Eau de Parfum. And this one is... A 3.3 ounce, which is 100 ml. So, Issey Miyake Lodisi Pure Nectar or the Parfum. Okay, you guys, so let's move right on to the samples. And this first one we're going to go over is this Gucci Bloom Ambrosia Di Fiori. This is what the bottle looks like. It is this red bottle like the original Gucci Bloom. And I do believe there are, I, I believe there are three or four of them that is from the Di Fiori line from Gucci Bloom. There was just a newer release from the Di Fiori line of Gucci Bloom, which I think the bottle is yellow. We're gonna go over this one because as I was doing research on this Gucci Bloom, this one has a note of rose, which the rose is supposedly more prominent, but we're gonna definitely go ahead and get this a spray but before i spray this i want to let you guys know i literally only sprayed one spray like right here between my thumb and my finger in case i had to scrub it off it would be easy to come off i did not spray it on my pause points because i'm treading very very lightly when it comes to anything with gucci bloom gucci blooms are prominent with tuberose and i'm not a real heavy fan of tuberose but i still want to try perfumes because you just never know until you try them so i did spray one on the crook here i'm not gonna spray it today because I already have on perfume, but I'm just going to spray it on this paper just so I can be reminded of how she smells. Okay. So right off the bat, you get the tuberose like in the original Gucci Bloom, which kind of turns my stomach. I just cannot handle the tuberose in, in the original Gucci Bloom. But this one, 
You guys, I would say this one is an oriental floral. So you had tuberose, rose, honeysuckle, and jasmine. So you do have four florals going on. So you know this is definitely floral and it being oriental, I know it's going to be a rich floral. Okay, so the reason why I'm not really too much putting my nose and I'm kind of fanning it like this is so I can get it to dry down because I will say it is better as it dries down. Beginning first spray is like yikes it's a no ma'am for me in the beginning but i want to bear through it to see if this really changes this starts to get better the tuberose starts to fade and then the rose the honeysuckle and the jasmine really starts to surface but the rose is more on the dry down where it's a little bit more warm but i'm definitely smelling that jasmine okay so the tuberose is dissipating thank goodness because the tuberose was a little nasty in this perfume and i do not in no way shape or form want to offend anyone that loves tuberose okay i'm just sharing my thoughts and my experience of dealing with this heavy white floral guys it does start to turn on creamy almost like a lotiony which on the skin the tuberose almost disappears and it turns into jasmine and definitely honeysuckle you can really smell that honeysuckle in there too honeysuckle isn't really prominent like tuberose but it gives it that powdery wax that's what i get from honeysuckle as it dries down it gets better to me it does smell better than the original Gucci bloom now, would I actually pick up a bottle? No, because I don't love it. It's not as bad, but definitely not enough for me to want to pick up a bottle. I'm going to still use this sample, and I didn't scrub it off, you guys. I bared through it. I'm definitely going to go through this sample and see how I feel as it gets colder outside, because this seems like a perfume that will really be befitting to cooler weather. Definitely not a love. Definitely not a strong like. It, I'm kind of on the fence. But I want to really see how, we'll see what this turns into as the weather changes. So again, this one is Gucci Bloom Ambrosia Di Fiori. This is an Eau de Parfum Intense. So I'm definitely going to try this a little bit later. So as of right now, I'm going to slip her right on back into the sample drawer. Oh, and by the way, it stayed on my hand for six hours, just in that little spot. I could, every time I did like this, I could smell it. So I did bear through and I did wear it. So as of right now, I'm just going to try her again as a sample. So again, that one is Gucci Bloom, Ambrosia Di Fiori, or the Parfum Intense. Okay, so moving right along to this last sample. This is Rihanna's Rebel Fleur Love Always. This is a flanker to the original Rebel Fleur, and it does come in this black bottle, and it has been floating around for quite a while. I've had this sample for well over a year. I just never really went and wore it because I did actually try it out when I first got it to spray, and I said, ooh, honey, Rihanna tried it with this one, and what I meant by that is, you guys, this is literally the original Rebel Fleur. There is no difference. I can't pick up a difference. So with that being said, it's almost like it's just a repackaged perfume. That's why I say Rihanna tried it. So my thoughts are still the same as how I feel about the original. It's still very nice. You guys, and I do have a review up of Rihanna's Rebel Fleur. I will leave a link to the review up there if you're interested in seeing my review of the original Rihanna's Rebel Fleur. So as of right now, what I pick up love always no, I would not. It is the same perfume as the original Rubber Floor. It's just repackaged into this black bottle. I literally spray both of them, one on each wrist, and I cannot tell the difference. So I will not be picking up Love Always, would just be keeping my bottle, which I have a 1.7. And you guys, I'm over halfway done with that. So there is no rush to try to go ahead and get a full size because I still have that one. Rebel Floor Love Always would not be added to my collection because it's the same thing. So that is my thoughts on this Rebel Floor Love Always from Rihanna. Okay, you guys, so this does sum up season two, episode eight of Scent Talk. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you have any of these fragrances, comment down below and let me know your thoughts on these perfumes that I showcased today. And my highlighter scent for the week would definitely have to go to my Issey Miyake Lodissi Pure Nectar. You guys, this is my absolute favorite again from the house of Issey Miyake. And if you do have this perfume, let me know your thoughts down there in the comment section below. And I will definitely leave links links to all of these fragrances if you're interested or if you're trying to find your bottle I will leave links trying to find the best deal on all of these fragrances so again comment and let me know your thoughts thank you so much for tuning in and I can't wait to see you in my next video mm -hmm.